these are the common ions and buffers nodes. A common ion effect is a shift in equilibrium when you add a compound to a solution that's already in the equilibrium expression. So here we have um, hydrochloric acid dissociating into its ions. If we were to add any one of these species, it would influence the equilibrium of this um, equation by virtue of the fact that um, Le Chatelier's principle would be involved. Okay, let's determine the concentration of pH when a common ion is present. Do these things. Identify the common ion. Remember that weak electrolytes don't count. Find the equilibrium expression that will affect the pH. Set up a rice table. Make sure you include the initial concentration of the common ion in the table. Determine concentration and calculate pH. Okay, it says calculate the pH of a 0.2 molar solution of um, acetic acid. And we're talking about um, acetic acid all by itself and it dissociating in the normal manner. So we have the acetic acid dissociates into a proton and the acetate ion. Its initial concentration is 0.20. There are no protons and no acetate ions at time equals zero. What will happen as equilibrium is established, some of the acetic acid will dissociate, making the proton and the acetate ion. So at equilibrium, we have the original amount of the acetic acid minus some that has been dissociated, and we have um, the products of that dissociation, the proton and the acetate ion. The Ka value for that is 1 times 10 to the negative fifth. That means that um, according to our equilibrium expression, um, we would have uh, the products, the um, proton and the acetate ion, divided by the acetic acid concentration because the Ka value is so small in our math portion, we may disregard the minus x here because it really will make no difference in our answer. When I do my math, I find x is equal to 0 0.00190. That x is the hydrogen ion concentration. And I take the negative log of that hydrogen ion concentration. And I find that the pH is 2.72. Next, I would like to see the effect that a common ion has on the solution. Let's calculate the pH of a 0.2 molar solution of acetic acid that also has 0.30 molar of this stuff. Another way to write that stuff is this is sodium acetate. Sodium acetate is a completely soluble base. I'm sorry, completely soluble salt and it will decompose into its ion. It's kind of a weird thing. Um, in this fashion. So what are we worried about? We're worried about this acetate ion. It is the only common factor in this equilibrium expression. So our initial starting concentrations, we have acetic acid, we have no protons from the dissociation of this yet. However, we do have a common ion, the acetate ion from the sodium acetate that was added to the beaker. And we will see what happens. Um, when equilibrium is established, some of the acetic acid will have dissociated into a proton plus the acetate ion. The equations that are governing, governing this dissociation would be the initial amount of acetic acid minus the bit that dissociated is equal to the proton that um, came from the acetic acid plus the acetate that was already in the solution plus the part that came from the dissociation. So our math looks like this. Here is our Ka value. This represents the concentration of the hydrogen ion. Here is the concentration of the acetate ion. 
once again, we can disregard the plus x because it is negligible for our math. Remember, we're using the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. This small amount would be totally lost in that math. Likewise, this is negligible. So when I do my math, I find that x is equal to 1.25 times 10 to the negative 5th. That's the hydrogen ion concentration. The pH is the negative log of that. And our new pH is 4.92. We see that without the common ion, our pH was 2.72. With the common ion, far less of the acetic acid is associated, which gives us a higher pH. Our next problem asks us to calculate the pH of a 0.05 molar solution of formic acid that also has a strong acid, HNO3. It's one of the strong acids. It dissociates completely and quickly into its ion. All right. When you add a strong acid to a weak acid, it forces the equilibrium situation of the weak acid far to the left. Now, we see we start out with 0 0.05 molar of formic acid. We have 0.1 molar um, protons because 0.1 nitric acid will dissociate into 0.1 molar hydrogen ions and nitrate ions. So that's where this came from, and we have no um, uh, formate at equilibrium, this would shift um, and decrease, and these would both increase. So here are our equilibrium expressions. So to find the pH of this, we need to figure out what solution controls the pH, and that would be the strong acid. The strong acid is really the only thing that matters here because the presence of this proton shifts the um, dissociation of the formic acid, we can totally ignore any protons that come from the formic acid. So in this case, our pH is equal to um, the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration, and that comes completely from the nitric acid, and so our pH is 1. So if we know the equilibrium concentration of a hydrogen ion um, is, uh, is 2.7 times 10 to the negative uh, second molar, and the percent dissociation is 2.7, um, please find the proton concentration and the percent uh, dissociation of HF in um, a solution that also has common ion sodium chloride. So we start out with a um, sodium fluoride, I'm sorry, hydrofluoric acid concentration of one. It has no protons, but it does have a fluoride concentration from the sodium fluoride dissociating. And that is um, one more. So as this dissociates, these go up in this fashion. Here are our um, equilibrium expressions. We were given the um, Ka for hydrofluoric acid. And when I do my math, I see that the um, x value, or my H plus value, is um, this. That's my hydrogen ion value. And I started out with um, one molar, I'm sorry, from one molar HF, and from that I take away X, and I'm left with 0.999 molar um, HF. So I have my hydrogen ion concentration to find the percent ionization, my hydrogen ion concentration, the concentration of my acid after dissociation times 100% is this. 